hello guys welcome back to appsheet tutorial so this is aditya here i am an entrepreneur and having three plus years of experience in appsheet so in our last video we saw how to store invoices in google drive so if you are new to this channel subscribe and like and share and in our last video this is the invoice import which is a three part i made a video how to import invoice and send tax invoice to a customer and how to store it in google drive I will give the link in top you can check this video so today we're going to see how to make an interactive dashboard first I will explain the UX of the dashboard type and then how we can make it interactively so when we press one screen the other screen will make it as interactive dashboard so this will be done by using parent-child relationship so in this app itself we will create one more database and one more sheet and then uh, we'll make it as interactive dashboard so uh, just creating a new sheet Google source and the to understand this parent child concept i have made the video i'll just give in the top link you can check it out that video also so we're going to create two sheets for in the dashboard there will be two views and if we press on the first view the second view will get automatically updated so what i'm going to do is just see two as menu okay. menu like in restaurant we will have right starters main course soups like that so and this is menu items so in the menu i'm going to give menu id uh, name so this menu id will be anything like menu 01 and starters like uh, we will start with soups this like three menus i am give yes soups starters main course one more let's say juices okay so this two i have given soup status main course juices and this menu items will be parent child so this will be the parent and this will be the child so here i'm going to give item id so say item zero one that's like 10 items we can give okay and this should be referring to the menu id and name of the item okay. and this menu id what we're going to do is so for soups it should point to the menu zero one okay like reference for that Let's say i'll give three soups uh with soup chicken soup and uh, the next one is status so if there is some issue with the software recording software so this menu next one will be the menu of this status right so i'm just copying this menu and a two for three so this menu two status we can say uh, chicken 65 and uh, what other status are there okay. and then six five something and the third menu is main course I'm just adding three more main course let's say biryani and meals what will come as main course say chapati and then fourth menu i'm going to give some juices 
kadang ada barang yang pasti juga terus kini ngapain orang oh, sama banana juice okay. so this is the parent child this is the parent uh, we have four menu and we are pointing all the menus with this menu same number for soup starters main course and juices so now we're going to encode this data and we'll make an interactive dashboard okay so this data start a new table so refresh so add menu and menu items okay So I added this menu and menu items. Okay. So I'll, let's create a dashboard now. So the UX, create a new view. Say interactive dashboard. Okay. So this dashboard. For this dashboard, we have to add views. So dashboard can contain multiple views. Okay. So this interactive dashboard first we will create one more view for menu that's for menu and uh, another view for menu items right menu items so these two views will make it as a reference view menu items i just make ref ref means it will be hided Okay. it won't show anywhere and this menu also let's make it as a reference view so this reference so these two are reference view now in this interactive dashboard i'm going to add the entries this entries uh, menu and this menu items okay. actually this is if you see here this menu and menu items are like next by next right so let's make this as proper view as a gallery view let's say gallery so this is a deck view so it's showing like this so let's make this as gallery if you see Soup, status, main course, juices, and uh, this also gallery. Okay. Now there is nothing, so it just clicks and it opens. So it's like a normal dashboard with two views menu and menu item. Now let's enable this interactive option, interactive mode. So tapping those won't navigate to different views, instead, it will affect other views in the dashboard. So I'm just enable this since we have connected this parent child relationship it will accordingly if i click soup it showing soup right if i click sorry i need to save i forgot to save so i just save and now i'm going to click soup still it's not changing okay there is some okay so the database which we made we just imported but we forgot to change this menu items as a reference view so this menu item this menu id should refer to this menu so that's why it's not working properly so this is like enum so we just changed to menu id to reference to menu okay then yeah now it will work Go to this interactive dashboard. So if you see here now I click soup, it's showing only soup and status, it's showing only status, right? And this main course, this one, users, this one. So in this way, uh, this interactive dashboard will be helpful to make it a decorative UI. And one more view we can add. 
so if you want to if i click suits which suit is there if i click this we want to see the details of this room also so for that we can add one more entry which is menu item detail okay, so we can see the detail of that thing also maybe let's say we will give the price so if i click this i want to see the price of this so let's say i'm just adding one more column price so let's say 12 some numbers oh, 7 7 days so costly so i just added some few numbers and we'll regenerate the data columns regenerate and you can add images also so it will be more decorative if you add image so see the price also i can able to see now in this detail page so since it's a gallery view in the ux so this menu is gallery view you can add image also let's say if you are adding image column here and image column here also so the respective images also will show beautifully so this is the interactive dashboard if you have any doubts just let this let me know in comments and yeah thank you for watching we'll see you in next video bye thank you